I'm here today at the My Life Clinic. I'm gonna do some active, isolated stretching. I sometimes get pain in my back. So I'm gonna show you around the clinic and maybe you too can experience my life. Hi, I'm Sandra. I'm the Jacqueline Wall Trades of My Life. Active isolated stretch is something that can be used in conjunction with other therapeutic bodywork practices. So if you're already going to a chiropractor and an osteopath, this isn't something that has to be done separately or instead of, but could rather be used as a way to deepen your practice with other practitioners. But what I'm seeing is that active isolated stretch could really be used by anybody. Somebody who's particularly active sports-wise, chronic knee or shoulder problems that deteriorate with age, dancers, anybody who really has body awareness and who wants to get deeper into their stretch. Are there issues? I mean, you know, we're doing this for me, but I, I think I have mild scoliosis so if I stand for too long I get a pain right here. Move into the chair here. This is more of an assessment. I mean if there really was severe scoliosis I would start sitting down in the chair doing all of this and it would take about 25-30 minutes. But what I want you to do is just gently on your out breath tuck your chin in and then reach your forehead down over your chin and bring that one and two, when I come on back up with your in breath. And again down. And as we're stretching these muscles, there's a series of muscles all up and down the spine, from the bottom of the spine, in fact, from the bottom of your toes to the front of your head. But by you activating these muscles here, all these muscles back here are told to release. All lumbar and mid-back pants I have found always involve hamstrings. I haven't done this much hip flexing since I had a kid. <laughs> <laughs> we went from about here, just about 85 something degrees, to 105. So all that means for us is not just the, the excitement of amplitude, it means that there's more muscle availability so it will be more stable in the back. Now, with low back, often it's more than just the glute, which we're now stretching as yeah. phase two of. Um, it's often piriformis, which lies underneath the glutes. I didn't even know I had these muscles. <laughs> Learned how to heal my back pain is one of my hundred jobs. We're really offering a tool for people to have not just to help them with their situation of the day, of the week, but that's a tool they have for the rest of their life. I've had new clients come and say, a friend of mine showed me how to do this next direction and then she showed me where she learned it. This is exactly what I wanted to create with my life.